Hello, my wildlings, and welcome back to Turnabout for All. In the last episode, we had a delicious roast dinner, and, uh, well, Mr. Ramses was the lamb of the hour. Ha <laughs> ha. No, but in all seriousness, he died. Not great. Really not great. We were so close, too. I mean, it sucks for him, too, but... God damn it, now I'm just thinking about food again. Now I'm hungry. Also... If I sound a little bunged up, it's because I have allergies, and I apologise. <laughs> anyway, I was going to go somewhere, I imagine. I suppose I'll ask Nick. What now? <laughs> we'd, we'd better check up on carrots. Yeah, that death came as quite the shock to her. Oh, right as he was about to confess, too. Talk about rotten timing. Yes, had he finished his statement, Judy would have been free by now. And yet, something about it seemed a little... too convenient. Yeah, it did indeed. Well, I guess I'll go talk to Judy then. ZPD Detention Center, August 30th, 2.35pm. Is it me, or does the atmosphere seem especially mor morose today? I was going to say morse today, it was just seen... The uh, Detective Morse that just appear on screen. Here to help. That'd be nice. But unfortunately, probably not. I talked to some of the guys. They're bringing Judy now. Thanks, Nick. Did they say anything else to you? Oh, nothing noteworthy. Oh, Jack Savage is focusing all efforts on Dog Ramses Doug Ramses' death right now. Mm, he's not doing any more investigating into Judy. Well, why would he? He thinks he has the perfect case. He still does now. I don't see how we could prove Ramses was going to confess he wasn't involved. Yeah, the only guy who could is the dead one. Which means savage arguments may stick, and he'll move on to Mr. Hop's attack tomorrow. Hop's attack tomorrow. Yeah. Not great. Shame we don't have... Mia here. Well, then again, I don't think they consider psychic to be admissible in court. Although there are, you do hear about those cases where they get a psychic in to help out or something. Ugh. Moving swiftly on before I do something silly or sneeze again. If disputing Ramses' involvement is no longer an option... I must cr seek to create new holes in this case. If there are new holes to make... Oh, there's always new holes to make. It's all a lie anyway, so there must be some proof. Hey, Judy. We haven't talked since the incident earlier today. It's been a... It's been a little over an hour since it happened, and it seems like only minutes ago. Oh, she still seems shaken. This whole thing is taking its toll. I can imagine it would, yeah. Uh, we got so close to winning, if only the witness hadn't... Yeah, I know. Now Savage can still claim I hired Ramses. What do we do? We continue on and fight until the bitter end. The trial isn't over yet. There's still time to turn things around. And if there is some way to prove Ramses didn't commit the sabotage, then I will take that chance. Still not giving up, huh? I can't. There's too much at stake. And neither should you. No, I'm not. I believe in you. Oh, well, that's a relief to hear. Uh, I suppose we should talk about it. So, about what happened. Uh, what is there to say? I can't say I was fond of him. He was a criminal, after all. But to have him die right there on the stand. No warning? Oh, it's chilling to think about. I didn't see much after I got ushered out of the courtroom. What happened next? Oh, they brought me back here and took the body away for an examination. Oh, what did you do? I called Edgeworth. We met back at your place and I told him what had happened. It was a little past 1pm when it happened. I wasted no time after that. Anyway, 
after that we decided to see how you were coping. Are you sure you're alright, Judy? I'll be fine, I think. Oh, I hope so. Although stuff like this... Shock take, can sometimes take a while to set in, can't it? I don't know. I don't know much about it, but from what I've heard... Is there anything else to talk about? Not really. I, I guess we move on, then. Somewhere else. I guess we head to ZPD, see what's going on up there. ZPD building, August 30th, 2.59pm. I see the reporters are still outside. Are there even more reporters than there were before? Well, there was a death during the middle of a trial, so I imagine so. Surely they should be questioning uh, Jack about this. Because he said he was fine to do all this. Surely he would have seen that and thought, oh, maybe I should get in a, a doctor to check him out or something. And if he didn't, surely that falls on him. Hmm. How do I know that that's not going to happen? A guy died, so yeah. <sighs> yeah, and I can see the almost feral look in their eyes. They really want this story. And if one of them has a southern accent and a ginger afro, I'm out of here. <laughs> ah, yes, I remember her. I don't know, I found her amusing. Ugh, they'll be here for a long time yet. No escaping the press. Also, it appears that there is no escaping demon bunnies. Huh? Oh, oh god. Mr. Right, you haven't run away yet. Oh, piss off, you self-entitled prick. I would have thought today's events would have been too much for you. It's not the first death I've been near to. Hmm, I see. Well, if there is nothing else... Actually, I was wondering if the ZPD have turned up anything about the death of Doug Ramses. <laughs> or if they've started questioning you about how he could possibly have been in such a bad state under your care. Mr. Savage. I forgot his last name for a second then. I swear, these allergies are messing with my head. <laughs> I know it's only been a little under two hours, but still... Now, nah, that was a good question, and I have answers for you. I'm sure you do. You do? Already? It didn't take long for the truth to present itself to me. To you, huh? Has anyone else had a look? Anyone? Anyone who is actually at least remotely trustworthy had a look? No? Why am I not surprised? The investigation is still ongoing, but we have a good idea as to what happened to the witness. But why does he seem so happy about it? Oh, he poisoned him. And he's going to say, oh, but it was Judy. Because he's a bastard. Oh, I suppose I should find out what he's found out. Uh, so I want to talk to him about the trial, he'll probably give some sort of smug, I don't know, statement about it, about how he was brilliant and I am terrible, or some nonsense. So, about the trial. I had expected more from the great Phoenix Ride. Disappointing. Disappointing? Had the witness not perished, the verdict would have been given by now. He was going to confess to not having been involved. How do you know that? He never got to speak. Yeah, suspicious, isn't it? Oh, believe me, I know. Whatever the case may have been, it's too late now. Tomorrow I shall finish my explanation and the verdict. The, the verdict shall be handed down as guilty as vilty. Yes. Yeah, we'll see about... W wait, what? I think you got the letters... No, 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 I said exactly what I meant to say. Uh, I'm sure you did. So, about the witness. Dude, that was a shocking turn of events. 
was even more fatal for your client. Oh, piss off, you prick. Huh? What does Judy have to do with his death? Everything, Mr. Wright. Everything. For one thing, we know what killed him. It was a slow-acting poison called Atafan. He was a dead man walking before the trial began. How could he possibly have got that into his system if he was with you the whole night? He was poisoned? Yeah. Like this prick. Yes, we found the bottle which the poison came from. Hidden in your client's cell. What? Yeah. Yeah, you mean planted. A Tofen... No, I keep right-clicking by mistake, I'm sorry. A Tofen bottle added to court record. Mm. Unmarked bottle found in Judy's cell contained the poison. Mm, if you say so. Now hang on a minute. That's just not right. I mean, how could she have even had that bottle? She smuggled it in somehow. The investigation is ongoing. But either way, she must have poisoned Mr. Ramses in the detention centre at some point. I promise I will have all the facts, that should be in quotation marks, by tomorrow's trial. You know, I think I have some mint sauce left over. I wonder how that tastes with rabbit. Probably pretty good. I've never had rabbit before, but I really like mint sauce with just about anything, so... <laughs> Honestly, that's one promise I don't want you to keep. <clears throat> Since he confessed, she must have killed him in a panic. He was my decisive witness, after all. Except he was anything but. But that motive does not make... Sh uh, no, that's me. But that motive does not make sense. Why ever not, Mr. Rice? It's time I confronted him about that confession. Oh, I suppose I should. I assume this is the whole thing of him having him in the there for like the whole night or something. Uh, Mr. Savage, Doug Ramses' confession was completely false. False? Just what are you saying, Mr. Rive? You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that testimony was completely forced. You accuse me, Mr. Wilde? Me, the person in control of your next paycheck. I don't think he truly cares, and he's right regardless. You forced that confession because it was beneficial to your case, correct? Mr. Savage, am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. You have a wild imagination, Mr. Wright. I knew it. Everything I suspected about this bunny is true. He's just another prosecutor with a perfect record. Oh, wow, the day has come when I miss facing Edgeworth in court. Oh, trust me, there'll be plenty of other opportunities for that, I assure you. <laughs> uh, seems I'll need to break them to get anything further out of him. <sighs> but I'm, I'm not sure I have enough evidence. So, uh, I might do. Mm, I'm going to have a look around elsewhere first. It's probably for the best that I do that. Back to the detention centre because, oh, there's new stuff. Excellent. Oh, no, we're going to have to talk to Judy about it. Oh, no, she's not here. Judy's not here anymore. They probably took her in for more questioning. Questions here, questions there. You know, if the law had as many answers as it does questions, we wouldn't be in this mess. Ugh, true enough, but then you have to ask questions. Or else you don't get any answers. I mean... For every question has an answer, so... I was I was kind of trying to say something deep and meaningful, but I am both allergy-ridden and on 
antihistamines, although I don't know why that would affect anything. Basically, I can't think straight. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, if she's not here, there's no point hanging around. Yeah, let's go. Hold on a moment, you two. Oh, it's Bogo. Hold on a minute, you two. I have some more information for you, if you're interested. I am. I am very much indeed. Chief, I thought you'd helped as much as you could with Ramses's hideout. You said anything else would be too risky. With what happened in the trial, the risk has become acceptable. Yeah, I mean, someone's willing to murder people for it, to hide the truth. So, uh, yes, absolutely. Getting to the truth is very important. Are you aware that they suspect Hops of Ramses' death? Yeah, they say she poisoned him. So you know about the poison? Good, Mark and cut to the chase. Uh, do you know much about the poison and the bottle it was in? I do know a little. It's a small brown bottle, and it's also unmarked. Yeah, I know that bit. It was found hidden in Hops's cell, and rather sloppily, if you ask me. Hops is far craftier than she looks. I don't believe she could have made it so obvious. This entire situation is off to me. It's a gut feeling. I've got to stop right-clicking, I'm sorry. Uh, you and me both, Chief. I hope we're right, because if Hops did do it... No, it doesn't matter. Uh, he'd be pretty angry, I'd bet. Is there anything else? Well, there is that other piece of evidence. Other piece of evidence? <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> Alright, let's hear it. What is this? So what's this other piece of evidence? Well, it's simple, really. Security camera footage. Uh-oh. Okay. Security camera footage? Mind if we have a watch? All right, but let's be quick about this. Okay, let's see what we see. Nothing, really, but don't worry, it'll be explained. The footage showed a scene in the questioning room. It appears as Ramses and Judy were being swapped over, they were left alone for five minutes. Ramses was the one being swapped out for Judy. Throughout those five minutes, Judy and Ramses appeared to argue about something, and Doug Ramses continued to take sips from a drink of water on the desk. Eventually, Doug Ramses is removed from the room, and Judy's questioning begins. So there's no evidence of him being poisoned by Judy. <laughs> uh, so what? There was nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, th that was the only time that they were alone. And the only time Hops could have poisoned the victim. So they think. So they think she slipped it in his water. She passed by it several times in the video. I didn't see her poison it though. And speaking of that, why wasn't a guard in there? Why were they left alone together at all? <laughs> yeah, I think I know the answer to that. No, I'd better keep this information handy. It may be of use later. Thanks again, Chief. Just continue to do your job and I'll do mine. Good day to you, Mr. Wright. Well, thank you, Chief. Now, this is interesting. I just wish it would be... It was clearer in the video about whether or not she did or didn't. I imagine she must have passed in front of it a few times if they're going to consider it evidence. <laughs> that she did it. Otherwise, it would be pretty clear evidence that she didn't. Anyway, where else can we move on to? Uh, let's check out the apartment, see if Edgeworth is back. Nope. Okay. Detention centre. Savannah Central? Why not? Let's see what's going on over here. Savannah Central, August 30th. Uh, there's not much going on around here, aside from the usual hustle and bustle. I'd better look elsewhere. Mm, fair enough. Uh, let's check the abandoned station. Why not? Abandoned station, August 30th. Uh, I think we've seen all there is to see down there. I better look elsewhere. 
All right. Fine. Give up then. Best guess back to ZPD HQ. ZPD building, August 30th, 2.37pm. Seems like Jack is gone. I suppose I won't be unlocking those locks after all. Oh, well. well what else can I do? Okay, something new at the detention centre. August 30th, 3.50pm. Is Judy back? Oh, well, Bo Bogo has wandered off to do whatever it is he does. Probably sit on his office and watch a gazelle video. <laughs> That's just my guess, though. I wouldn't know. Uh, but on the bright side, Judy is available again. Uh, what are you wanting to ask her, anyway? In the footage, we see Judy and Ramses arguing over something. Ah, you want to hear what it is? was they argued about? Exactly. That, and I want to hear about what happened in that room in her own words. Hey Phoenix. Hey Nick. How's the investigation coming along? You know, why, why didn't the cameras have audio in there? Are they... I don't know if that, that's a law or something, that they're not allowed to have audio in, like, those interrogation rooms, except for when they're recording. That might be the case, actually, if they have, like, a, a lawyer in there with them uh, beforehand to talk to them. Maybe they're not allowed to. I don't know. I really don't know. It could be. <laughs> well, we've picked up a few things here and there. Uh, nothing that particularly helps us, though. Uh, well, at least you're making progress. I'm just stuck here, waiting. Oh, we'll try and have you out of here soon. But before we can do that, I need to know something important. Important? Oh, well, whatever it is, I'm here to help. I thought you might. Right, we'll talk to Judy about what exactly happened in there in the next episode. Partially because... <laughs> I can't stop sneezing now. So I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, good night, and good luck. I'm going to spend more time editing out sneezes than I am actually uh, editing the main video.